Charlie Eccles home for Boating New Zealand magazine aboard the Grand Banks 54. Beautiful boat, come along with us. Grand Banks 54 blends the traditional trawler appeal of a down easter style lap strike hull with the handling and performance of a modern, fast semi displacement planing launch. A vision in pristine white with the teak trim inside and out, Laugh a Lot is hull number 9 out of Grand Banks Malaysian factory, the first GB 54 to reach New Zealand. Laugh a Lot had just finished pre delivery commissioning when we joined the vessel at Viaduct Harbour, Auckland, with Grand Banks New Zealand representative Matt Mason already aboard. Mason is a long-time friend and crewmate of Australian sailor Mark Richards, who regularly skippers Sydney Hobart winning Maxi Racing Yacht Wild Oats 11. Richards started Palm Beach Motor Yachts in Australia in 1995, which was acquired by Grand Banks Yachts in 2014. Richards becoming CEO. He since transformed the company, modernising and expanding its manufacturing facilities and implementing wide-ranging improvements to the model range. The GB54 features the easily driven, warped semi-displacement hull first developed for Richard's Palm Beach motor yachts. Boarding the GB54 is easy, with gunnel doors either side. These open onto generous side decks flush with the wide cockpit. The teak trimmed boarding platform is similarly broad, with access to the cockpit via a transom door on the starboard side. The upper deck completely overhangs the cockpit, but also shelters the side decks for half their length while the gunnels, topped with stainless steel railings, wrap right around the boat at a safe height. Although the GB54 is available with Volvo Penta IPS pod drives, Laugh-A-Lot's owners prefer traditional shaft drives, twin Volvo Penta D13 900 horsepower engines amidships under the saloon sole. The lazarette is huge. The upper deck is also vast. The after part is surrounded by stainless steel railings and equipped with a DAVCO electric crane for the OC tender. It also features an electric outdoor grill. Under the moulded bimini top there is generous seating to port and a teak table with a sink and food preparation area and fridge to starboard and twin stid reclining pedestal helm seats at the fully featured helm station. New Zealand made clears create an all season space. While driving the boat upstairs provides unsurpassed vision for the helms person, Large windows and relatively narrow mullions also ensure good sight lines from the luxurious helm on the main deck. A helmsman side door provides quick and easy deck access. The GB54's teak decked cockpit features a comfortable transom lounger addressing a stunning polished teak table. Shaded by the upper deck, it's the perfect place to enjoy al fresco dining. Inside, Laugh-A-Lot Saloon is all understated luxury with sumptuous green leather upholstery, sizal carpet and acres of teak in keeping with the boat's traditional styling. The dark wood contrasts nicely with the boat's all-white exterior, light-coloured upholstery and white ceiling lining. Laugh-A-Lot is a galley down version, but the food preparation area enjoys easy access via companionway stairs and is completely open to the saloon from above. The all-electric galley is well appointed and the washer-dryer is tucked away under the companionway stairs. Below, there's luxurious accommodation and two good-sized cabins leading off the galley, each with an ensuite bathroom and separate shower. The cabin in the bow has an island berth and a large overhead hatch for light and air, while the starboard cabin's walk-around berth is positioned to thwart ships, and its bathroom is reserved for the occupant's exclusive use. Once clear of the restricted speed zone, Mason opened the throttles, and Laugh-A-Lot quickly slid onto the plane with minimal bow lift. At 20 knots and travelling with a very level attitude, 
total fuel burn was a respectable 140 litres per hour. The vessel is clearly fuel efficient and fast too. We saw a sprint speed of just on 32 knots. Laugh a lot planes at 11 to 12 knots and cruises all day at 25 knots. Or you can enjoy a 1000 nautical mile plus range at 10 knots. The Grand Banks range is built with the company's proprietary V-Warp technology designed by a team of leading naval architects. The underwater geometry of the hull form was informed by the NASA and American Navy databases, further refined by Richard's experience as an ocean racing champion. The warped semi-displacement form reduces drag while adding to buoyancy, stability and lift that allows the boat to reach plane speed with minimal energy and effort. Extensive use of carbon fibre dramatically reduces weight and the construction techniques maintain extreme rigidity to deliver class leading speed and stability while using only half the fuel of a similar sized boat, says Grand Banks. All up, this 18 metre boat weighs under 30 tonnes fully laden. The GB54 is effortless to steer and responds beautifully to the helm, at low speeds as well. A Humphrey interceptor and fin stabiliser system provides great stability underway, minimising roll while also automatically regulating fore and aft trim. The vessel remains almost level in the turns and its wake is very flat. The Grand Banks 54 delivers traditional styling with timeless good looks, comfortable accommodations and performance with economy. The warp displacement hull design provides remarkable sea keeping, enhanced by Humphrey fin stabilizers, and the trawler layout offers a multitude of options for entertainment and onboard living. John Ackleson from Boating New Zealand. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you'd like to see more of these videos, please subscribe to our channel.